What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to Grey. Now this game came out a little while back on ModDB, and this is another Half-Life 2 mod, or Half-Life mod, kind of like uh, Underhell and Nightmare House was. This is another standalone style game, and this one is apparently about this guy. I don't actually know his name, because I don't remember what the heck it was. And apparently this guy's life has just been constant nightmare, it's been unraveling all around him. And apparently this game picks up where he wakes up, and the world around him has just been torn apart, and he has doesn't know what the hell is going on it's my job or your job as a player to go around and look for clues to figure out what the hell actually happened now i don't know what this game actually really involves i know that there's guns so it's going to be kind of like nightmare house i believe in the sense of shooting enemies and stuff like that i have no idea how this game actually really plays or anything because i haven't played it yet and it does look kind of cool. There isn't a whole lot, like I said, description for the game, so I don't really know too, too much about it. But it's got a somewhat decent rating, and it's actually kind of popular, especially with the downloads, uh, when it comes to games on ModDB. So, I like the trend of doing, like, a, an, a mod or whatnot, kind of like Underhell, and again, Nightmare House was before. Curious how this game's gonna go. I have no idea how long it is or how big the game actually is, but let's check the game out and see what it has to offer. Yes, I want to start a new game. We're gonna go on normal because I have no idea what this game's going to involve and I want to actually be able to get through the game. So, a cold sweat forming on my brow, my unconscious mind began forming an unfathomable nightmare, plunging down into the depths I fell. Press any key to continue. Okay. So I am curious if this, how scary this game is, because Underhell was not scary at all. You guys know that. Nightmare House, every once in a while, it would have its, uh, it would have its moments, but I think this game is going to be a lot darker That doesn't sound like a good noise. Okay, that music really doesn't sound good. Oh, great, I have a health bar. That music sounds off. Wow, okay, that was really janky how I just jumped up there. Nothing with that. Nothing with this, the happy thing. Nothing with that. Is there a light? Why is it so goddamn dark? Is this my house? If this is my house. Why is it so dark? Why are there random pictures on the ceiling and drawings? Why does it look like there's something in this? Okay, that's weird. Kind of looked like there was something actually there. Alright, now we're in a room with a bunch of heads and a hook. Okay. This is one way to start. What the hell is with the heads? That's... Oh, uh... Alright, that's solid. Hi! Hi! How you doing? Having a good time? Just standing there with a knife? That's cool. Oh good, now I'm in a, a, a crazy person chamber. Oh. What was that? Oh, that's good. That's totally gonna... Alright. Yep. I have no idea what this game involves, nor do I know what's in this game. Hot! I don't know. What have I done? What did I do? What did I... Who was that? Was that a woman that was laying on the ground? What are with all the goddamn, like, spider cobwebs? I sw... You're just... Okay. Oh! Hi! How you doing? You having a good time? You're kind of twitching on the ceiling a little bit. Um... That probably should be happening. That... That looks really uncomfortable home fit oh home floor one okay Why did he do that? I have no idea Yep, this isn't totally weird at all. No, this is like totally normal. What the fuck is this game? My god. Oh yeah, something bad's not gonna happen in the well-lit hallway. Not at all. What's behind me? Okay. What did that do? Okay. I don't know what that's gonna do. Do I have to click all of these? 
There we go. Now the door's unlocked. Unlocked. Oh, I don't have a reflection. That's probably... Oh, there's more some... There's some more twitching people. I don't have a reflection. That's probably bad, right? Okay. This is fucking creepy. What the hell is this game? My god. I... Oh! What the hell was that? My god, dude. I guess just because I'm not used to playing an actual scary mod, but holy shit, that's a hell of a way to start. My head was pounding. My hands worked at automatically scrubbing themselves again and again. Slowly, the thunderstorm within my head began to recede. The bar was quiet, silent, even. Had, my, had they closed while I'd been in the bathroom? Sorry. I'd lost track of time. I needed to find where everyone had, had gone. Find where everyone had so suddenly gone. Okay, that's kind of a weird way to set that sentence. Get back to normality. Yeah, if you wake up from suddenly uh, washing your hands in the bathroom of a bar and everybody's gone, yeah, some shit probably happened. Okay. Who are they? All right. Hmm, suddenly got quiet. Can't imagine why. Nothing bad will happen. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? What did I do? What is this? Oh my god, I have a hand. It's kind of weird. What the fuck is that? You found one of Anita's dolls. Who the hell is Anita? Oh, great. So this is going to be like a freaking fear game? That's probably not good. Fuck. Door's locked. I like how the, the girl's bathroom has a bush that makes it more sophisticated than the guy's. I have no idea. Where'd that guy go that was hitting on that girl that was probably never done it? Oh, good. It's completely dead in here. I mean, the game already did kind of set that up. What is with the twitching? Is that the game breaking or is that the world changing around me? I'm assuming that's part of the game. Because that would really suck if the game was freaking out like that. Where is everyone? Did they close up? No, because there were still people talking a minute ago. Can I pick that up? Pull tab periodically. Figure out where everyone is. Can I have that rifle? I want that bar rifle. No, I can't have it. Holy crap, this place is pretty big. I'm not kind of surprised. Dude, free drinks, right? That's what that means. Steal some money out of the cash register? No. Okay. Suddenly got quiet. That's for damn sure. What, did the guy pass out in the bathroom or what? I'm curious if this is going to be another one of those games where it's like all in my mind or if it's going to be something else. I have no idea how this game is going to play. That was the door closing behind me. I'm okay. It is really dark in here. Why is it slightly dark? What is this creepy ass vibe? Jesus. This is another one of those bags. What is this? Oh, this is disgusting. I'm never eating here again. Why? Because you saw a dead carcass? Yeah, no wonder. I'm never... That's always good when there's lights flickering, right? And, and then they suddenly go out. Yep, that's always good. I don't want to go to the exit yet. I want to look around. It's always good when there's lights flickering. Storage. The lock is jammed. Why would there be a jammed lock? That's probably not good, nor is that probably safe. Alright, let's go to the uh, creepy office, because nothing... Alright, there's actually nothing that happened. It's locked from the other side. That's... Hey, look, there's some minute... Uh, unmarked... Okay, there was a key there. You found a key. I didn't even know that I was looking for a key. I'm still trying to figure out... I bet it's the key to the exit. How much you want to bet? Or no, the other thing was locked from the other side, so I can't go through there. So I guess I gotta go, I'm assuming, towards the exit. Yep, that's what I needed. Alright, that was preliminary, but that was lucky. I feel like I should go to the repair shop. There might be someone there who can help me. I hate it, but the service tunnel under the house is the shortest way there. Why would you take, oh, just because it's the shortest way means that's the way that you have to go? Fuck that! 
Yeah, let's go down the dark, creepy service tunnel. Sure, that makes sense. What is that? Nope, just some saws. Is this the way I need to go? Nope, door lock is jammed. There's a lot of jam locks around here. I, it's locked. I can't open it. All right, I'm assuming I'm probably gonna have to end up coming back here at some point. Maybe, possibly. I have no idea. All the phones are suddenly cut too. I mean, granted, when was the last time you actually saw a payphone? But I mean, come on. Uh, I said I should go to the repair shop. I, I, again, wh why do you have to go to the creepy tunnel repair shop? Why? Why would you have to go through the creepy tunnel? Why? Why? I would just go the normal way, like on the street, with the, uh, you know, the lights and the, probably other people. You would hope that there would be other people. This is where I came in, and I'm retarded because I keep going the wrong way. Boy, you can't sprint, I just noticed that. Literally can't sprint, huh? That's no fun. So it said I gotta go through the service tunnels. How do I get to said service tunnels? Locked. Oh, this way, right here. I, 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 okay. I got it. Uh, nope. There's actually nothing in here. Literally expected this to be the way that I needed to go. It's just a dolly and some other crap. Can I go? Uh, fuck, someone jammed the lock. I'll need to cut it off. Maybe I'll find something useful in the tool shop down the alley. You mean this alley over here? There we go. I was looking for the door that I went through. So the tool shop that I was already in. Okay, cool. So I kind of went preliminary again. No tools there. I need some bolt cutters or something. That lock's broken. Maybe I'll find something in here. That door's locked. Nope, I didn't find nothing in here. Everything's just fucking gone. I should go to the car repair shop. My boss should be there. Probably not. There's a pipe there. Can I pick that up? No. Oh, good. There's a dirty syringe. I mean, we, we definitely want to pick that up, don't we? All right. I came into the this place, and there was nothing in here. Spamming the button. There's nothing to pick up. Somehow, me waving my arm in front of the uh, the actual door will cause it to suddenly open. Alright, good. So there was nothing in here. Uh, now where do I have to go? Well, this is the tool shop. Oh, there we go. That's the tool shop. Okay, I was literally expecting it to be the other end. I didn't expect to, I didn't expect this uh, actual door to be able to be opened. Okay, wow. Alright, cutscene. Jesus, those are some... Excellent. A bolt cut. Those are some big ass bolt cutters, and that's not what bolt cutters look like, but okay. Those bolt cutters are fucking massive. They were the size of me. My god, what is this? Boss sent me here to get some replacement drill bits once. Okay. Great audio cue there. Thanks. Glad you told me that. God, those are some big ass bolt cutters. Again, I was not expecting that door to just suddenly be opened. I was expecting that to go the other end. My bad to anybody that's played this. Okay. Oh. Alright, I would be keeping them bolt cutters. If those things are as big as they were, my god. The note on the floor made me stop dead. It seemed so innocent, but somehow I knew it was meant for me. I had seen... I had... Bleh, I had been placed here, waiting for my apparently inevitable arrival. The letter gave only one clue. An address at block 12. Still, the cursive handwriting seemed hauntingly familiar. Okay. I seem like I'm really left in the dark in this game a lot. Because I don't know at all. Why do the lights have to flicker? The lights really don't need to flicker. At all. Also, I haven't found... I haven't found... Oh, that... That note? Oh, that's a flashlight. Oh, I hope this flashlight has batteries. Oh. How do I turn it on? There we go. Oh, cool, I don't even have a battery thing on my screen either, which means it either has A, infinite batteries, or B... It... Going to love this. I'm not. The lock is jammed. Why is this service tunnel a thing that he wants to... Oh, good, there actually are batteries. Great. Never mind. Was really hoping there wouldn't be batteries in this game, but apparently there are. 
All right, I don't really... Anything over here? Well, which way do I go? All right, well, that's an open area. What's over here? There was another door over here. Anything right there? Nope. Lock is... Okay, I, never mind. Can't go that way. I always like to backtrack. I want to look for stuff. That was the service tunnel? Oh, is that the service tunnel? Oh, I got you. I have to somehow open that. Last year when I got out of the halfway house, the streets were much cleaner than now. Wow, that car just ran into that wall. Or that tree. Wall? It's a tree. Just rammed into there. No willy-nilly, no problem. Lock is jammed. There's a lot of jam locks around here. You guys might want to get that fixed. That door is locked. Okay. Anything down there? Nope. Well, I guess I'll just go over here. That's the Platinum Metalworks. Do not block doors jammed. Also, how is this truck running? Yeah, let's just sit down here. Okay, this truck's running and he has nothing to say about that. It'd be one thing if it was sitting there parked and it wasn't running. But the fact that it's running means that somebody started that at one point. Storage. There we go. I can come in here. I can't close doors behind me, which I kind of don't like. Oh, great. I'm probably about to get hit because there's a freaking first aid box right there. That means something's going to be here. And I don't even have a weapon or anything yet, so I'm curious what I'm going to use to fight it. And I can't pull my fists up. Or my fist stuck offs. I can't do anything with that. Or at least I haven't been able to yet. Storage? What's in storage? What's in here? Doesn't look like there's dick in here. Okay, I heard that. There was another slam for no reason. Well, there's nothing in storage. That's good. I guess. Oh, that's right. I opened that door. That was that other slam that I heard. Fuck you, door. How about that? You bitch. There's a lot of rooms where there's literally nothing unless something spawns after a certain event happens or something like that. Boy, there's a lot of... Okay, why is it all blue up there? That's probably not good. So something bad is about to happen, right? Like, definitely. There's a key and there's a note. I guess that's a note that he was talking about. Why is there a thing in between the loading screens that tells you what's about to happen? Why is that a thing? All right. Through. What the hell? Through block twelve. Where is block twelve? Fucked up enough to leave bloody notes all over the place. H. Okay. What is that noise? What is that noise? Sounds like static. Okay, he just vanishes. That's good. More first aid. Why is there first aid in both areas? I kind of don't like that. Okay, I have a key. I don't know where block 12 was. That door? Nope. This door? Nope. It's locked from the other side. Uh, alright. Where is the key to this? Nope. It says through block 12, but I don't know. There we go. Apparently this is the door that I need. Really glad there was a static guy. Nope, that door's locked. Good, I like locked doors. Especially when horror stuff starts happening. Doors locked or jammed, whatever you want to say. Locked. Batteries? Batteries under the stairs. Nope, nothing. Okay, cool. It's locked. I can't open it. Well, no shit. Yep, that was normal. Sure. Mom? How did you get that? It was a freaking creepy ass woman with gigantic claws sticking her head out of the wall. And you say mom? She was completely black and disfigured. How could you tell who that person was? At all. Oh good, there's another doll. 
Found another I need a doll. I don't know what that's going to do. Hey, this room opens. Oh, that was me walking. I heard footsteps, didn't know what it was. Okay, it's a really small apartment. That's a dead guy. Looks like a chest burster burst out of his chest or something. I don't know exactly. A chest burster burst out of his chest. Wow, great. Oh, good. Luckily, there's another key in here. Why wouldn't there be? And I'm assuming that guy is probably going to get up as soon as I grab that. Boy, you are really dead. Nothing to say about that, huh? This key is labeled with the back exit. I've got to hurry. Yeah, probably. I like how that door is half open now, by the way. Jesus, okay, why did the door have to open towards me? And I hope that piece by Ian Weiss got your emotions all stirred up. I know I did. Well, that's good that the radio still works. Okay, that's a good song, I guess. Let's not listen to that song before it decides to... Said back exit. That would be no idea, actually, where that would be. Boy, it's like, it's like, okay, here's a key. Now find out where it goes. Awesome. I wonder if I have to go back outside. I bet I do have to go back outside. Probably this door to my right, actually. Yep. There we go. Alright, so a whole lot of nothing has happened really so far. It's just been wandering around. I'd made my way through the majority of Block 12. I continued on, determined to find someone or something up ahead. It was a construction site abandoned some time ago. The, dis uh, the decrepit shells of half-built buildings stood around me. The hairs on the back of my neck began to rise. I feel like I was being watched. That's good. That's good. I like how there was health back there. Again, there was health and there was the static monster. And I still haven't actually interacted with anything. I know that there's guns and stuff in this game because I looked at the screenshots for it. That's a good noise. Do I have to... Wait, how do I get around this? Oh, I gotta climb under that. Apparently, I can't walk through it. God forbid I break it. Well, I definitely... Okay. There's boards in the way. No shit. Oh, now I... Okay, yeah. Now I'm going to have to start fighting something because I have a pipe now. Oh, oh. I, th I literally thought it was going to be a cutscene where I grab it. Nope. Drop it. There we go. Okay. How do I use this? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck your boards. I swear to God I saw a light rise up over here. No? I swear I saw a light shine, but okay, that was weird. Like it was a flashlight or something like that. Alright, let's go fight some monster or something. I have no idea. Okay, I was gonna say, how do I... Yeah, I'm just gonna save right there. Sure, why not? I just didn't know how the save system worked in this game, so... I have a pipe, and I'm not afraid to use it. Uh... Do not cross. Fuck you. How about that? Oh, good. I hear something groaning. Ah, my arm itched. It's kind of scared me all of a sudden. Hey, batteries. Cool. I'm curious if I actually have to reload my batteries or if they just automatically auto... Holy shit. Automatically reload. It's locked. I can't open it. Well, let's break that shit. I really don't think I should be here. Probably not. You really don't, huh? Alright, why is this room like this? Why was this room boarded up? Why was this room boarded up? What is that? It's just another pipe. Is that stronger than my pipe? Sure, let's go down the creepy tunnel. Why not? Oh, this is some cry of fear shit. Uh, that's probably not good. Holy shit, is it dark in here? 
Well, it's not really... I mean, it's not that dark, but I just like to be able to see. Are you a kid? Are you are you a doll? You are a doll. What the fuck is that? That's weird. That thing's gonna come to life. That thing is totally gonna come to life. I like how I keep hearing a groaning or a growling noise from something. I have no idea what said something may be. Can't... Oh, there's another one. Okay. That wasn't there before. That really wasn't there before. Um, where do I go? I was gonna say that I must go through the building site to reach the damn car repair shop. Fuck you, you creepy ass doll. Where do I need to go? Oh, is this a door? No, nope, it's not. Yeah, that doll wasn't there before. That doll really... W yep. Yep, that doll moved. Yep. Okay, that's good. I'm glad the doll... I'm glad the doll moved. Fuck you, doll. How about that? How much you want to bet this thing's... Yep, cool. There's more than one. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's really good. Please walk. Where am I going, by the way? Don't you start crapping out on me, flashlight. Must go through the building. Okay, where do I go? I don't like wandering around. It's not cool. I can't do anything to those dolls. This is where I got the battery, so there's nothing in there. I should really conserve my light, too. There we go. Got the boards out of my way. Hi, dolls. You're creepy as fuck. Don't know why you have to exist, but you do. Random dryer or something. Oh, there we go. Do I have to go through there? Yep, there we go. Wow, that would have been nice to know. I didn't even have to go downstairs. Good, so I have those creepy fucking dolls chasing me now. And I didn't even have to go down there. Great! Okay, I'm gonna go the other way. I wanna see what's over here. For all I know, it could be some more nightmares. Or it could be something useful. Or a dent in the... Nope, can't do anything with that. Okay, it was a dead end. Why is there a sudden... I don't know why there's a dent in that pipe, but whatever. Thump, thump, thump. Okay. Okay, there's just some random chains. Alright, where are these dolls gonna pop up back up? Pop back up again. They have to, right? The game's not just gonna get rid of those without me having to kill them or... Oh, okay. Alright, can I... There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna have to... Huh? Please don't fall. Oh, shit. Okay, I made that. Was not expecting to actually make that. I was really expecting something else to be there. Alright, I have to drop down here. Okay, I don't like confined spaces in video. Okay, cool. Flashlight, thanks for flashing. Thanks for flashing like that. The fuck am I now? It's locked from the other side. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be locked from the other side? Because I don't want any reprieve from my nightmares. Oh, good. This door opens, actually. Never mind. Um, okay. That door opens. The hell was that? I think that was a board falling. It scared me. Why did it scare me? 
because there was something different. That's Looks why. Like I found the way out. Yay! Oh, good. There's a key. I closed the building for the working hours. I don't want strangers walking around. If you want to leave for something, the key is on the top of my locker. The caretaker. Great! Where's the caretaker? That's not good. Where's the caretaker? Holy shit, it's dark. My flashlight's starting to die. Is that what's happening? On top of his locker, huh? So I need to find some locker somewhere. Lock is jammed. There it is. Found it. Alright. The god-awful thing that's going to happen to me can happen now. Or it's probably going to happen down there. Oh, I can actually go in here. Okay. Ah, I was going to say, there's got to be something in there. There's no way it would just... I love how that door is broken like that, by the way. So I still have no idea... What's, uh... What's, uh... Okay, I was really expecting something bad to happen. Exit! Yay! Yay! We got out! Okay, again, nothing really serious has happened yet, but... The cluster of imposing masonry and dark alleyways finally gave way to a familiar lights of the city. After catching my breath, I instinctively began walking towards work. I was looking for help, lacking any other options. Even in the brighter lights of the street, shadows seemed to be creeping around the edge of my vision, my imagination turning them into horrific disortation, dis disortations, there we go, can't read, of over otherworldly menace. I felt hemmed in. Hemmed in? Never heard of that. I felt hemmed in, as if something were directing me down a path that I did not necessarily want to t tread. Alright, cool. This is a good place to stop, so I am going to save right there, just to appease my mind. This game's pretty weird so far. It's had some creepy vibes, especially that very opening of this game, but there really hasn't been anything that's too creepy. That opening was awful, uh, but up to this point, it's just been the tension. It's been building the tension, so I'm curious if it's ever going to just pay off in a huge way and scare the shit out of me, and that's when the actual scary part of the game is going to start. I have no idea, but I am curious to see what's going to happen. I think I've seen Mark play this a long time ago, because I remember that, uh, beginning building that you start in with like their manager's room i don't know if you ever did anyway this game's pretty cool really creepy atmosphere creepy lighting and everything like that the story so far hasn't been really anything but i guess that's it it's just like it's leaving you in the dark and that's why there isn't much for a description for this game as well but anyway for a mod this is really cool i think this one's going to be paying off to being a really good scary mod so with that that is all the time i got for you today guys if you guys want to check this game out for yourself there'll be a link to the game in the description below it's a half-life mod so all you need is the source sdk and you download that and then boom you have the game you don't even have to buy half-life which you can download source sdk in the tools section on steam it's free to download so thank you all so much for watching check out the annotations for more videos that i've done let me know what you guys saw this game so far in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time maniacs out what's up guys maniacs here and welcome to nightmare house 2 now this game came out a while ago on mod db um all right you're free who the hell are you Bang. You're dead. yeah good point <laughs>